What's up everybody, I'm Balkan playing Fishing Planet with a video about Blue Crab Island, Mississippi. Please check the timestamps in the description and go to the part you're interested in, no need to watch the whole thing. This one can be, maybe will be a little bit longer video, I'm gonna include a lot of stuff in it. So uh, again, please check the timestamps in the description and just keep to the parts you wanna see. In order to come and fish over here, I had several options either i can grind from level 50 to 54 i was already level 50 the map unlocks at level 54 so i could do that or i could buy a dlc the bass boat explorer pack which includes access to this location with some premium and some fishing gear it's not a bad dlc you can check it out or i can just pay with bait coins to unlock this location too so uh, but like i said because I was already level 50, I did some grinding to level 54 and uh, that's the way I did it. Looking at the species that are available here on this new location, there are 20 species and 12 of them come in a unique tier. Also there are 4 new species introduced to the game so uh, a lot of stuff to look forward to but um, I'm gonna go briefly over all the species here and you can check this on your own just even if you don't have it unlocked you can still check the species guys but here it is bluegill bonefish that's a new guy comes in a unique uh, bowfin brown bullhead butterfly peacock bass also comes in a unique channel catfish the common snook comes in a unique Gaff top cell catfish also unique golden shiner large mouth bass in unique long nose gar also unique oscar one of the smaller fish also available that's a new one here the permit i don't know how to pronounce this permit permit it comes in common trophy and unique it's an ugly fish kind of very flat looking uh yeah you'll see it later in the video it just looks weird man that that's but it's still fun to catch it. The red drum now comes in a unique, which uh, can be very, gets very big. Um, red ear sunfish, that's a new one, the southern flounder. Comes in common trophy and unique. And this one is also a new one, speckled peacock bass. You can catch this one in a unique too. So that's a nice, exciting new fish. Actually, it's, it was very hard for me to get that one. Striped bass. You can get it a unique and the tarpon which now is the biggest fish in the game it comes in a unique and the warmouth common and trophy but yeah like i said the tarpon is now the biggest fish in the game and uh, if you check it out look at this number one right now is 69.4 kilograms unique tarpon so that's about the fish these are the three different weather patterns here you can see it's a uh, sunny day with the peaks being in the beginning and the end of the day with some maybe a good night peak hours at midnight and then you have a uh, rainy day starts rainy but i think it changes later on with uh, the hours getting better and better with the best fishing most probably being at the end of the day and some good peak hours here during night time and this is the partly cloudy day here now um, again some peak hours here at the end of the day and during night so nothing new over here we've seen these patterns on other places but this is what the weather looks like guys and looking at the map itself there are, there are two places i can start fishing for now i do believe maybe they'll add some more because the map is big and that's just me speculating but looking at what they've done before in the past my uh my gut tells me that the developers will add some more spawning spots here so the first one the bass base is catching some bass you see it says speckled largemouth or butterfly bass butterfly peacock bass and I, I know I also can catch other stuff like gar and bowfin but it's it's a platform on the water I can't really get off it it's not a dock it's just a platform um, if I didn't come with a boat I can't really get off it unless I change my position but 
I can definitely do multiple rod fishing with a rod stand so that's the exciting part and it definitely is a spot for bass fishing. This is the other place I can start fishing at the mangrove sunset where the boats are. Over here I can catch some of the bigger fish like the pom, permit and red drum but really it's I think this is more about uh, the boat hopping on the boat coming over here go on the boat and practically I can access all the corners of the map from the boat and this is what I think separates the this map from the rest of the maps in the game is just the bass boat fishing I can go on the boat and visit a lot of places you can see the map is huge guys so and and there are some old dogs in some of these places where I can just get off the boat and put a, a rod stand there too I haven't explored everything yet I barely scratched the surface really and uh, you can see where my markers are I have some clusters of over here over here over here but like I said what makes it different is definitely the bass boat fishing and in the competitions the bass boat um, in general boats are allowed actually which is a new thing also fishing from a boat not just um, scoring fish from the the shore so um, plenty of opportunities just coasting along on a bass boat a lot of fish to be caught guys if you are wondering what I was using over here fishing I'm gonna go over my setups real fast now hook size and baits and lures vary definitely but I will go over the rods and reels and lines so on my bottom fishing I used the heavy chaser 310 with combined with a Leviathan 10,000 and a fluoro of 27.5 kilograms and all my setups are the same the bottom fishing setups um, going at my that's a new setup a bait casting setup you can see it's a much heavier setup it's a sharp caster 210 with up to 33 kilogram line weight I also have a power grab 7000 32 kilogram max drag on it with a braid line of 28 kilogram now I'm, I'm level 54 so I don't have everything unlocked I just went with whatever was available and in the end I have a uh, fluorocarbon leader just to combine it with the braid uh, so it doesn't spook the fish I don't know if it matters or not but just that was my thinking here and um, this is an old setup I used in some of the fish on the lighter fish like the bass it's the river takes uh, Zeus 250 with Thunder spin 5500 and braid line on it 18.7 kilogram and again a fluorocarbon leader and I tried different lures with jig heads no jig heads all kinds of stuff here so finally that that's my new bobber setup it's majesty 350 with line weight up to 26 kilograms combined with leviathan 10,000 this is a major upgrade from my brutus setup and a line test of 27.5 so yeah like I said this is much much bigger uh, stronger setup for bigger fish all right before I put all the footage on uh, catching all the uniques just uh, want to say that this is not a guide this is not something that I've tested thoroughly it's just me going to a spot fishing catching some uniques then going to a different spot catching some uniques over there so this is how I'm gonna do it I'm gonna show you how I go to a spot and then what kind of uniques I caught there then going to a different spot and so on so um, again it's not a guide but you can check what uh, the hours are the weather you 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 can uh, see that and if you can use that information uh, more power to you guys but that's it from me enjoy the rest of the video I'm Balkan cheers and take care